Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today we're going to cut some rocks. It's still cold out here. We still got snow and places that aren't covered in snow are wet and muddy. So not really a good week for rock hounding, but we can at least get some things cut open. So let's see what we found this time. Starting things off with a little bit of the black agate. And all right, not too bad. We've got a little bit of the white in there. It is pretty small, but it still looks nice. Another little piece of the black agate. Looks very similar to the other one. Yep. Yeah, this doesn't have much white in it. Here's some jasper. I think this came from the spot that Tim found. It might be from the Drum Mountains. No, I think, it, I think it's from the spot we found. And it's... Ooh, interesting. Okay. Well, it's got some cool patterns going on in there. That's not too bad stuff. Nice. So here's something I actually found on the edge of the river here in Grand Junction. So I've been out a couple times just like after work, just for a short time where I just go out there and take a quick look. And this looks like petrified wood on the outside, just kind of browns. Let's take a look inside. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that looks like wood. You got the nice wood grain going through there. I just wish it was color and not just kind of a tan <laughs> color, brown. Still, the pattern in it's really nice. Here's a little piece of agate that I found from southern Utah many, many years ago. And, okay. It's got a nice banding on the very edge of it. The rest is just kind of whatever, but interesting. Okay, here's a little bit of agate that I had just sitting around. Let's take a look. And uh, there's no banding, so I guess technically it's just chalcedony. But if you uh, maybe grind a little bit of it down, it'll let the light through really nice. Just not the best color and unfortunately no banding. Here's some more black agate. Um, very small veins going through it. From what I can tell, not the best looking. It's just, it's okay. Yeah, I have much better black agate than this though. Here's something I saw in the river too. I looked at it and I was like, that might be an agate or it might just be a chunk of quartz. Let's cut it open. And I would say that's a chunk of quartz. <laughs> I don't see any banding really. Yeah, that's just a, it's just a chunk of quartz. Eh, can't win them all. So as I was going through some of my old rocks, I, I thought I had cut open most of the stuff I'd collected from Clay Canyon, which is a, an old mine that I, I used to go and rock hound at that I had permission to, where you find varicite and some other rare phosphate minerals. And I had a couple that weren't cut yet, so I decided to go ahead and cut them. And okay, so it's mostly yellow and kind of orangish, that most of them are just yellow, but it's got a little bit of color variation going through there. So that one's not too bad. Here's the other click and new nodule that I had cut. Now this one had more weight to it. Normally when they have weight, they tend to be much better inside. So I was really kind of excited about this one, looking forward to it. And, ooh, okay. Definitely better colors and much, this would take a much better polish. Uh, unfortunately, no green or blue in it. That's what you're looking for when you're talking Clay Canyon. Um, but overall, still very nice. Very nice color and patterns. Another piece of black agate I cut that the other side broke. This is the only side that survived and yeah, not that great. Here's another agate that I found from Southern Utah. It looked like it had good banding on the outside, so let's take a look at the inside. Oh yes. Okay, that's much better banding. You got several layers there. I mean, I wish they were colored, but that's got quite a few bands in it. Still very nice. This is a piece of petrified wood I just had sitting around. I don't know where it came from. It kind of looks like the stuff from Nevada. And well, the inside's interesting. It is fairly clear. If we could maybe, if I grind it down, it might look nice with light coming through it. But other than that, not very good color. All right, this is one of the rocks that I got from uh, one of my subscribers who sent a box to me. And I finally cut it open. Let's take a look. And 
nice. Pretty much looks like I thought it would because that's the way the outside looks, but it's still very nice stone. It's got cool little patterns going through it. Yeah, this is a really neat stone. We could make some uh, really cool stuff with this. That'll be fun down the road. And last one today, decided let's go ahead and cut some more Wonderstone. Here we go. Oh, nice. I just love that Wonderstone from Vernon. It is beautiful stuff, isn't it? Just look at that. Those patterns, those colors. I do really, really like this stuff. And there you have it. There's some cool stuff. Some of them turned out, some of them not so much. Ah, that's, that's normal. Some good ones, some not, just okay ones. Well, I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll get a rock counting video out next week, but due to the weather, probably just another rock cutting video. Oh well. Until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.